Hi, this is Rob. We're going to do an internal rate of return IRR problem on the TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator. Here is the IRR problem. A company wants to buy a machine that costs $300. The machine would last three years, but would generate $150 of additional profit during those three years. At year four, the company thinks it can sell the machine for $10. The company's other investment options should return about 10%. Calculate IRR to determine if the company should buy this machine. Remember, the formula for IRR is this. So as you can see, solving for IRR is a little complicated, but the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator has an IRR solver in its financial app. Let's draw a timeline of this IRR problem. A company buys a machine for $300, thus the negative 300 at time zero, the machine generates $150 for three years, thus $150 for years one, two, and three. Then the company sells the machine for $10 at year four. I'm going to show you three different ways to calculate the IRR using the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator. First method, press the apps button here. This window pops up. We want to go into the financial app here, the first one. So press the one key or the enter key because the financial app is already highlighted. This window pops up. We want number eight here, IRR. Either scroll down and highlight the number eight and then press the enter key or press the eight key here. I will press the eight key. This window pops up. It says IRR with the open parentheses. The format for this IRR calculation is, first is the initial outlay which is usually a negative number, in this case, a negative 300, followed by a comma, then list all the cash flows after the initial outlay. The cash flows have to be surrounded with these squiggly brackets. If you list all the cash flows individually, then you do not have to enter cash flow counts. But after we calculate this, I will show you how to use cash flow counts. Cash flow counts can save you some time on some problems. Now let's enter our numbers. Enter our negative 300, Make sure to use the negative sign here. Enter a comma here. Now enter a squiggly open bracket by pressing the second button here and then this button here. Enter each one of the cash flows separated by a comma. Close the squiggly brackets by pressing the second key here and then press the close squiggly bracket button here. Now press the enter button here to calculate the IRR. There is the IRR, 24.312%. Second method, but same problem. The second method involves grouping the same consecutive cash flows and using the cash flow counts. Take our initial outlay of a negative $300 and place it here. Then these $150 cash flow are the same and consecutive. So we'll place a 150 here with a comma. Then we have one $10 cash flow here. So we'll put a 10 here. Next, in the cash flow counts brackets, because we have three cash flows that are the same and consecutive, we're going to place a three here with a comma. And we have one 10 here. We'll place a one here. So this three corresponds with this 150 and this one corresponds with this 10. This is what it will look like when you enter it into the TI-84 plus CE. Press the enter button to get the solution. And there is the answer, same as before. The IRR is 24.312%. The third method. The third method involves using list in the TI-84 plus CE. If you do not know how to use list, I show how to create a list in my mean, median, mode, and range video. I'll put a link in the description below. So you put your cash flows in a list, not the initial outlay. Put your cash flows in order in the list. Here we have our cash flows in L1, list 1. Then the format for the IRR equation in the TI-84 plus CE is this. This is what it will look like in the IRR solver. The L1 button is here. Press the second key, then the one key here. After you have your equation set up, press the enter button to solve for the IRR. And there's the answer. The IRR is 24.312%. Okay, 
Those are the three different ways to find the IRR on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator. However, this will not work with all IRR problems. The traditional way to solve IRR problems is to make a graph. Graph by choosing different discount rates and seeing what the NPV is for each one of those different discount rates. Then you would plot the NPV on the y-axis and the discount rate on the x-axis. For this problem, this is what we would have. It's not going to be a straight line. It would be a curved line. The point where the line crosses the x-axis is the IRR. That is where the NPV is zero. This is what you will get for conventional cash flow problems. A conventional cash flow problem is this. It has a negative initial outlay and positive cash flows. Uh, unconventional cash flow is where you have one or more negative cash flows. This may give you a curve like this, where the line crosses the x-axis twice. This will give you two IRRs, and the calculator will only give you one IRR, usually this one. But you will need both IRRs to answer the problem. So if you have an unconventional cash flow, you'll have to solve for the IRR the old-fashioned way. Okay, that is it. That is how to calculate the internal rate of return, IRR, using the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.